So this is CCI Stinger Supersonic. What kind of suppressor is that? Hey, uh, this is Silent Co Spectre 2. Spectre 2. I was just curious what the Stingers would sound like. So you get that sub or you get that supersonic crack. Yep. It sounds pretty damn loud. It's pretty loud. But it's downrange from where you're at, so yeah. I could, it's, I mean it's hearing safe. Remington Subsonic. That's pretty quiet. I heard that hit. I feel like a minute later. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. Pretty interesting. Oh, that one got that a little, was a little hot. 22 ammo is not the most consistent. Subsonic and a Silencer Co. takedown. Yeah, that's the action. yards with 158 grain 9 millimeter suppressed. That one went flying up. Hit that rock. How high are you holding with that? 158. Whoa. That one. Yeah, you know what? That makes a good point. That's a second one. Yeah. But look, I've been looking at that out there. Yeah. There's a lot of rock that's washed up because of the erosion. Yep. And I'm probably going to have to pull a lot of that rock up. We can do that. Let's go to the bigger plate at 200. All right, okay. Oh, the bigger plate, okay. <laughs> Not as many rocks. We're going to hit it. I saw where that one went. Impact. Let's 200. See if we can repeat it. Impact. There you go. Nine millimeter. Like a mortar. Isn't it? It's, it's 300 short. It's, <laughs> it's
wind every time you come out here. See the four inch plate at the 150? Or is the angle bad? Yeah, I can see it. This should go maybe a little. Yep. Okay, everybody, let's go through some quick conclusions, uh, maybe for my benefit, and uh, I don't know if any of you would really, really agree or disagree with my uh, my thought process on this or what the purpose of this video was, but I thought I'd at least throw it out there and, you know, kind of see where we were going. So this, this session with Officer Mike was really to show me what could be possible with some suppressed guns that I could consider using for either quiet shooting uh, in the pit or also some animal deprivation in some urban areas. So obviously animal deprivation, uh, uber quietness is, is very important. Um, also terminal ballistics is very important. So let's start off at the beginning. So I would say the star of the show were easily the 22 long rifle guns. I was, I was uh, surprised at how quiet these were. Uh, in particular, the 22 bolt gun. Um, the uh, you know, if you factor in you know the availability of ammo, supersonic, subsonic, hollow points, cheap bulk, and all this kind of stuff, you know that is a that is a, a bolt action version of that is pretty quiet. You can do a lot with it and have a lot of flexibility, and it's very inexpensive. And you know, for close range deprivation, um, it's it's it definitely would work. Um, the 1022 Ruger, uh, the uh, Silencer Co. like Integra copy of uh, of the or Gemtech Integra, is it Silencer Co.? I can't remember what it is, but anyway, the integrally suppressed Ruger 1022, super cool gun. I don't think on video it really conveyed the audio and the microphone conveyed how loud the action was. Um, the action opening and closing on that gun in person to me was noticeable. Now, is it noticeable, you know, shooting on our range or, or doing what, you know, just having fun and shooting guns? No, it's, it's, it's a non-issue. But for urban animal deprivation, uh, where you're around people where, you know, maybe they don't want to know about the deprivation, I think the, um, I think the, uh, the uh, semi-automatic 1022 uh, is not optimal, at least for, for my uses. So uh, I kind of had gone into this wanting an intricately suppressed 22 and left uh, with the conclusion that a, um, a threaded on 22 suppressor on an existing bolt gun is probably where we're going to go with that. Um, 9 millimeter AR pistol. I have almost no experience with this type of gun. So that was, uh, it was, you know, it was a lot of fun and, and really interesting for uh, Officer Mike to bring this thing out. Technically, this is, for those of you who are curious, this is a pistol, not a rifle. So it is a uh, single tack stamp gun. It's, uh, it wasn't intricately suppressed. I believe the suppressor threads on under the handguard, which basically gets you to an intricately suppressed gun. My biggest concern with that format was blowback. Um I've, you know, I've been around a fair amount of 5.56 suppressed guns and, you know, you charge these systems, you increase the pressure and gas is blowing out everywhere. And I have a bias towards integrally suppressed ARs where the uh, suppressor and the gas system and everything is built from the ground up to not completely blow out the user and, and you know, foul his face. So this gun, Mike put this together and I... I really, really 
really liked it. Um, also, it is a straight blowback gun. I hadn't really decided whether I wanted to go straight blowback or wanted something that locked like an MPX um, or, uh, you know, or like um, <clears throat> I think uh, somebody makes, is it a 9 millimeter integrally suppressed AR called the Brown Recluse? Neither here nor there. That is a straight blowback gun. And I was kind of curious you know, how, how that would work, what kind of gas you would get in the face, you know, especially if you're just screwing on a suppressor on this thing and it's not, it wasn't built from the ground up to run suppressed, but, um, you know, nine millimeter short barrel with a expansion chamber. It really, it really did very well. It was, um, super quiet, especially the subsonics. Um, ammo is very common. Also with the nine millimeter ARs, you know, we can run and gun with these in the pit. We could do a lot of training, um, you know, barricade shooting and, and transitions, and the ammo is readily available. And, you know, also if we needed to, we could push this into a light hunting role. You know, something relatively up close. Mike shooting the thing out to 200 yards is, you know, that's not normal. That doesn't really do anything. Um, that's just him showing off some skill. The thing's flying like a mortar. But... That's, in my opinion, that's not that different than 300 Blackout. Um, I, th okay, those of you that, that follow our social media know that my opinion on 300 Blackout is pretty strong. I think 300 Blackout does one thing very, very well. If you need to put 25 rounds into an AR-15 and shoot a, bad shoot a bad guy across a room, uber suppressed, nothing beats it. The 300 blackout AR pistol, you know, is the new king that took a, you know that 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 took down the MP5 SD guns. That's what it does. So, 300 blackout is probably still not going to happen for us. But you know, it was good to to see it and and run it. Also, I guess one special note that was really interesting. So, we didn't show this on video, but Officer Mike was pointing out. One of the problems with 300 blackout in a bolt gun is <clears throat> the 300 blackout is designed to fit in a 556, you know, AR-15 magazine. Well, it's kind of a short round, and those short rounds and bolt action guns don't lend themselves to to good feeding with a bolt throw unless you get an entire system that's shrunk down to um, you know to uh, to feed that round. So if you're you know, take a normal bolt action rifle and you want to put a spacer in to the magazine and, you know, put a 300 blackout barrel on it, you could have a little gimpiness to the feeding cycle. And, you know, that's just not that optimal. It just was a little bit, it was eye opening and a little bit of a turnoff, but, you know, it, 300 blackout has its place. I'm not trying to set the internet on fire. It's still just not quite something that, that we would want to go. So, I guess in summation, I want to thank Officer Mike for coming out, spending the day. Um, he took time off from uh, his off day to uh, to uh, do this little uh, demonstration for us, and he also not spend time with his family. But hopefully, he enjoyed lunch. We uh, found a, a good restaurant that's not that far from the uh, range that we've been uh, enjoying uh, quite a bit. It's very, very good. So. Anyway, if uh, you're still with me this long into the video, thank you for uh, your view. And uh, if you want to know more about what's going on at the range or the guns that we're buying or projects that we're building or things that we're shooting, go to our website, john1911.com. That's j-o-h-n-1911.com. Remember, it's all about shooting guns and having fun. Everybody, have a good day.